All right, we are back here now with more from London. You obviously can't go across the pond without having a good cup of tea, and it wouldn't be a proper party without TJ. See what I did there? And Amy. <laughs> hey, guys, I have a proper cup right here. Not I love what you did there, Cecilia. Yes, we're at the Four Seasons Hotel London at 10 Trinity Square. And look who we have here with us, Deb Roberts. And Deb, I had to explain to TJ what a fascinator is. You're kidding. Well, the word, the, I didn't know if it was fascinating. Is no, we doing no, that? Fascinating. It fascinates. I'm going to have to educate you while Please. you're here. And I've got some you can try on. Uh, oh, well, uh, is that a thing, too? <laughs> See, I'm learning so much. Oh. Um, but we did come here and learn about uh, tea. Learn about tea, a proper cup of tea. Uh, Fortnum and Mason, of course, it's a premier uh, gourmet and tea shop. Up here. I know you've been there, Deb, but we have went for the first time It'll be obvious yesterday. in just a second. <laughs> okay. Obvious that it was our first time. Really obvious. It might have even been her first time drinking tea. You all check this out. <laughs> Those classic finger sandwiches. Warm scones with clotted cream and jam. And a freshly brewed pot of tea. We decided an afternoon in London called for afternoon tea at Fortnum and Mason. I want to lemon curd. Thank you, ma'am. Our personal guide, executive pastry chef Roger Pisey. Welcome to Fortnum. It's a new tea. The platinum jubilee. Platinum tea as well. Can I try this? But I, I'm a tea drinker, but I never put anything in it. I don't put any sugar. I don't put any milk. What do you recommend? I'm the same. How do most people? I know there's milk. There's is there coddled cream? I'm sorry, Rogues. What kind of cream? Coddled cream. No, but no. It's, we have clotted cream. Clotted. 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 Yeah. Clotted, clotted cream we got in the scones. We like to <laughs> not in the our cream. What's We're the cream? Clotted. Clotted. Yeah. So there's a specific order in which to do things. There is. You start generally you start with the savory, so you start with the sandwiches, and then you go to the scones, and then you'll see save the sweet for last. We sip our tea, and the next thing we do is have a savory sandwich, yeah, and right. you cut the crust off. Next up, scones. So some say, what would you do first? Put your jam on first, or you? Clotted cream on first. So which is it? Personally, I prefer jam first because you can get more cream on the top, and it looks it looks nice because then you've got the white, and then you've got the red of the, jam, the strawberry jam, and then the white on the top. Huh. But the idea is to break the scone in half. Okay. And then with the little knife. That's oh, right. that's I the, the sign. Way. Of a, you were going the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, this is brilliant. So you can't take me anywhere. <laughs> Like nowhere, literally. <laughs> How would you rate his application well, hey, there? I think he's. I think he's trying too hard. Yeah. Trying too hard. I thought it went great. I thought we were amazing. <laughs> I think so too. We learned so much, but he was great. And we another thanks to them for uh, for hosting us. And of course, a good cup of tea. Well, it can't gotta have a good cup of tea. You gotta have something sweet. And we want to bring in now someone uh, who knows a thing or two about that and making some delicious desserts. Jenna Melvin. Uh, Gemma Melvin is here with us, and she won the sweetest Jubilee baking competition around. All right. Yeah. Yes. I, and I want to congratulate her because her lemon Swiss roll and amaretti, and amaretti yeah. is that right? Amaretti trifle was awarded the title of platinum pudding wow. for the Queen's Jubilee celebrations, beating out 50 other competitors. And these puddings right here have all been made courtesy of Fortnum and Mason and the chef Roger Pisey, who we were just yes. with, of course. He was a judge in the competition, a judge, uh, and Gemma has been baking her entire life starting as just a child in the kitchen with your grants. We're very excited to try all of these amazing dishes. Mm -hmm. Tell us about them. Yeah, so the winning pudding was the, the trifle. So that was the pudding that I entered in. Um, and it was inspired by my grandma and my nan and the queen herself. So the flavor profile is lemon and amaretti because the queen had lemon posset at her wedding. So the flavor profile is based on that dessert. See, I'm used to amaretto, so I was thinking yeah. saying amaretti. I didn't know what that was. Well, I mean, how do you even go about it if you're trying to make something fit for a queen? Where do you even start? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was very, very a uh, strange brief to follow, but the best. It just it had to be fit for the nation as well. So the nation are now making this for their street parties. So it had to be something that everyone could make and suitable for a hot summer's day. So it's a nice, refreshing, zingy pudding. You clearly like lemons. I yes. see lemon earrings. Yes. You got <laughs> lemons on your shoes. Oh, wow. What was your inspiration? Because the judges are very tough. You had to really go through a lot to, to yeah. win this. So there was initially 5,000 people who entered it got whittled down to 50 and then down to the final five and we had a massive bake-off 
off in the kitchen at Fortnum and Mason where you guys visited. Um, so it was just trying to get the flavour to be fresh and exciting and something new. So a trifle isn't new, but the flavour profile is something new. And there's another famous dish we want to bring in now uh, from ABC's Will Gant, who has been here uh, running around town for the past couple oh days. Oh my God. Is there another, do you have another dish for us? Did you? Yes, I do have another okay, dish okay. for you. Okay, so that is the Victorian sponge cake. Here. And then, of course, we have the coronation chicken in honor of Her Majesty. Did you know that they have souvenirs down there, you guys? Oh, wow. Um, well, I, I thought you were the dish, actually, when, when you walked out, because I just really A admire... A dish served steaming hot, Amy. Oh, well, wow. you're just subtle, and that's what I love about you. Subtle. Well, this is what I thought everyone in the UK dressed like, but I think I might have overdone it at the souvenir <laughs> shop. TJ, I brought this, something this for you. Of, <laughs> you know, I was commenting about these. I was like, wow, that's a little creepy. I saw someone wearing this and just walking down the street. It looked odd, but this is all in honor of the on. queen. You know it's not happening. Uh, this is all in honor of the queen. So it's been, it really has. I know you've been here all week, uh, all week. and keeping folks entertained and informed. And, and Deb, you have been schooling us on all things fashion. That's a fascinator by the queen's fascinator That's maker, exactly right? Yes. Rachel Trevor Morgan. And you want to know about her, all right. okay? And as you would look up. Jim, congratulations to you thank as you well. Much. And guys, as we send it back to you, I want to say thanks to my partner here, Amy Robach. It's been a heck of a week here covering uh, all things Jubilee. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all have enjoyed watching us enjoy it. <laughs> you guys have done such a great <laughs> job. We have loved every minute of this. Thank you so much. And you're all going to need extra suitcases to bring all those souvenirs home, especially <laughs> with those hats. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.